Today I'm at the Roycroft Inn, one of America's great historic inns and a national landmark. It's here at the Roycroft that the American arts and crafts movement was born, located in the charming small town of East Aurora, New York, the Roycroft campus was a dream of Albert Hubbard, the charismatic author, lecturer, and entrepreneur. It began with the founding of the Roycroft Press in 1897. Step into the Roycroft and take a trip back in time. Welcome to the Roycroft Inn. The inn, the jewel of the campus, was restored in 1995. During the restoration, we followed the original footprint as closely as possible. There's always a cozy nook to curl up in. All the rooms have at least one piece of authentic Roycroft furniture. I'm hunting to see how many I can find. Roycroft! The three to five room suites are wonderfully spacious, full of charm, and very unique. You'll wish you could move right in. I just love these interior windows. Hubbard would have been absolutely amazed to find such luxurious bathrooms and huge tubs. I need some more bubbles. I need some more bubbles. And you don't have to stay here to enjoy fantastic meals in one of Roycroft's many beautiful dining areas. The service is always friendly, and the delicious dishes as beautifully crafted as the inn itself. Hubbard achieved overnight global success with his essay, A Message to Garcia. His profits allowed him to expand the Roycroft campus into a series of buildings which played host to a growing community of artists and master craftsmen. The old powerhouse has been converted into a stunning state-of-the-art meeting and events facility. When Message to Garcia took off... Let one of the inn's knowledgeable docents lead you on a tour of its treasures. What about these murals? These are eight murals that Hubbard considered the eight wonders of the world. Alexis Fournier's most important works are here at the Roycroft, depicting some of the great cities of the world. London, Rome, and East Aurora. These are the third set of original windows designed by Dart Hunter. A chandelier that's in the library depicts an architect, a printer, and an artisan. The Copper Shop Gallery holds the original printing press and offers unique handicrafts by today's local and national artisans, upholding the Roycrofters' traditions. Tragically, Hubbard and his second wife Alice went down with the Lusitania in 1915. But his spirit lives on at the Roycroft. I especially like the hotel late at night. Some claim ghosts haunt these halls. The historic Roycroft Inn is not just a national treasure. It's one of those rare things, a hotel with a heart, and like its founder, Albert Hubbard, a true American original. For virtual travel, this is Maria Carreras.